The relentless innovation cycle in the action camera market seems poised for another significant jolt, courtesy of DJI. Following the trail of regulatory breadcrumbs left at the Federal Communications Commission, the silhouette of the DJI Osmo Nano has emerged, promising to be DJI's smallest and potentially most intriguing action camera offering yet. Let's discuss all the official filings and rumored specs to get an understanding of this upcoming action camera. The name Nano sets expectations for extreme compactness. FCC listings, typically surfacing just weeks or months before a product's commercial launch, reveal model numbers ON001 and OD001. This dual model structure is the clearest indicator of the device's modular nature, heavily echoing DJI's earlier and somewhat unconventional Action 2. Industry observers, including reliable DJI leaker Jasper Ellens, consistently interpret ON001 as the primary ultra-compact camera unit, while OD001 represents a separate display module. This fundamental separation is crucial. It suggests DJI is resurrecting the core concept that made the Action 2 unique but shelved in subsequent Action 3 and Action 4 models in favor of a more traditional, GoPro-esque single-body form factor. So, what can we realistically anticipate from the Osmo Nano's design and functionality? The modular approach implies the tiny ON001 camera core will likely feature DJI's proven magnetic mounting system, potentially enhanced from the Action 2, and similar to the system used on the popular DJI Mic series. This would allow users to instantly snap the camera onto clothing, helmets, backpacks, or compatible mounts without cumbersome straps or rigs. The primary appeal is effortless, secure, and weightless capture. The Nano moniker strongly suggests a device so light users will barely notice it's attached, even during high-intensity activities like cycling, running, or skateboarding. This positions it as a direct competitor to purpose-built compact cameras like the GoPro Hero 11 Black Mini and the Insta360 GO 3S. The separate OD001 display module is arguably just as significant. It's expected to function as a dedicated viewfinder and control unit. This solves a persistent pain point with many ultra-compact action cameras. The lack of a usable screen during recording. Instead of squinting at a minuscule built-in display or constantly relying on a smartphone app, users could have a dedicated, likely larger screen readily accessible. This module might also house additional battery capacity, extending recording times a critical improvement area hinted at in the filings. Crucially, rumors suggest the display module could offer remote control capabilities without requiring a smartphone app login, streamlining the user experience significantly compared to the Action 2 setup. While the FCC documents primarily confirm connectivity aspects classified under UNI devices and low-power transmitters using spread-spectrum techniques, indicating efficient wireless communication for Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, Insider leaks an analysis point towards several key technical advancements aimed at overcoming Action 2's shortcomings. Improved heat management is frequently cited. The original Action 2 faced criticism for overheating during extended 4K recording sessions, particularly when used without the battery module. DJI seems to have prioritized solving this thermal challenge, essential for a device designed for continuous use in demanding scenarios. Furthermore, advanced AI-powered stabilization is heavily rumored. While Rocksteady is a DJI staple, an AI-enhanced version could offer even smoother footage, compensating for the intense shakes and jolts encountered in action sports or when mounted on FPV drones, all within the Nano's incredibly small footprint. Expect core video capabilities like 4K resolution and high frame rates suitable for slow motion, though specific sensor size and maximum frame rates remain officially undisclosed. The target audience for the Osmo Nano is multifaceted. Firstly, everyday creators and vloggers seeking a truly pocketable, hassle-free camera for dynamic point-of-view shots will find the magnetic mounting and lightweight design compelling. Athletes and adventurers involved in sports where bulk is a deterrent will appreciate the secure, unobtrusive form factor. Crucially, 
FPV and drone pilots represent a significant demographic. Mounting traditional action cameras onto drones, especially smaller FPV models, often negatively impacts flight dynamics and battery life due to added weight and drag. The Osmo Nano's minuscule size and weight could make it an ideal companion, allowing pilots to capture unique pilot POV angles without sacrificing drone performance. Integrating footage from a drone's main camera with shots from a Nano mounted on the pilot or controller opens exciting new creative avenues. DJI's strategic intent appears clear. Instead of directly battling GoPro and Insta360 in the traditional rectangular action camera segment, the Osmo Nano carves out a new niche focused on extreme portability, wearability, and modular convenience. It prioritizes user experience, easy mounting, accessible control, reliable wireless connection with efficient power usage, over simply chasing the highest possible resolution or frame rate benchmarks. It's a bet on capturing moments spontaneously without the friction of setup or bulk. Pricing intelligence suggests DJI will position the Osmo Nano Kit in the $300 to $400 range. This places it competitively against the GoPro Hero Mini line and Insta360's Geo series, while fitting logically within DJI's ecosystem alongside products like the Osmo Pocket series and the DJI Mic. This price point makes it accessible to serious hobbyists and semi-professionals alike, offering significant capability without a premium price tag. The modular nature also allows potential future expansion, perhaps with dedicated battery packs or other accessories, though these haven't surfaced in current leaks. However, the Osmo Nano doesn't exist in a vacuum. Its reveal coincides with strong rumors of the DJI Osmo 360, a dedicated dual-lens 360 camera potentially featuring large 1-slash-1.3-inch sensors, targeting the high-end 360 market currently led by Insta360's X5. This paints a picture of DJI aggressively expanding its Osmo line at both ends, going incredibly small and portable with the Nano and simultaneously pushing into immersive 360 capture with the Osmo 360. The Osmo Nano is explicitly not a 360 camera. It's focused on traditional forward-facing action footage, but in an unprecedentedly compact and wearable form. Both products are expected to launch relatively soon, potentially as early as summer or fall 2025. A significant cloud of uncertainty, however, hangs over the US launch. DJI is currently navigating complex geopolitical challenges, including potential drone bans, tariffs, and restrictions. The company has already postponed the US release of its flagship Mavic 4 Pro drone due to tariff uncertainties. Similar regulatory hurdles could potentially delay or impact the availability of the Osmo Nano and Osmo 360 in the crucial US market. While FCC approval is a necessary step for US sales, DJI's final decision to launch there will likely hinge on the evolving trade and regulatory landscape in the coming months. To be honest, the DJI Osmo Nano, as revealed through FCC filings and informed speculation, represents a fascinating and calculated return to modular design. It promises to be DJI's smallest action camera, leveraging a magnetic mounting system and a separate display module to deliver unprecedented portability and user-friendly control. Priced around $300 to $400 and potentially launching alongside the Osmo 360, the Nano is poised to inject fresh energy into the compact camera segment. While US availability remains contingent on resolving external regulatory pressures, the DJI Osmo Nano, if it delivers on its rumored promise, could well become the go-to tool for capturing life's spontaneous, fast-paced moments effortlessly in 2025 and beyond. It embodies DJI's strategy of not just matching competitors, but innovating around user needs to create entirely new capture possibilities. Thanks for watching.